hello guys you greeting back with another video of katia v5 and this video is going to be a little bit special because we lost one of the file which was from our plane which was part one and for some reason i wasn't able to find that so that's why i'm just going to make the fuselage and wings again quickly so just bear with me it's just a video of showing you guys how can you make something different in terms of fuselage as well so this is you can see i've simply made it two lines starting at the bottom and at the top as well just to use a multi-section i'm going to use one surface here and then propagate it through all the way so that's my way of doing it that's like one of the ways that you would have done which i haven't shown but yes that's why i decided to make a video on it so that you can understand how it actually works I'm just going to have a look in the adaptive sweep if we can use more than two guiding curves but we cannot so yeah I mean it's perfectly fine I just need to make a sketch or basically a section I would say that I'm just going to propagate throughout and just keep it working for now I would say I mean it's perfectly fine there can be issues but that's how it is right so no problem we'll try to make it work right now I'm just using intersection it says that uh, intersection is not available oh, what? okay it's not intersecting at all okay then alrighty no problem Oh, it will intersect this line with respect to this plane. There you go. That point. So now we have a reference point to work with. Similarly, I can offset planes if I want to. A couple of planes. What I generally like to do is I, I just like to make one plane in, in the front and one at the very end so that you can have multiple planes within them one plane here one plane at the end click ok then i have the other option of multiple planes planes between select the first plane select the last plane how many planes you want i just want two of them you can see almost equidistance and that's more than enough that's what i'm looking for i'm just going to make a projection sketch right here and the projection point is going to be this point right here so I went into the sketch so now I can just make a random sketch it doesn't need to be perfect I just need to like make the outlines of it I just need to make sure this outline will work right here before that I'm just going to project this particular point that we just have and make it a construction element don't forget that and then once again right there and I can do the spline right here there you go that's good enough good enough good enough As first section I am I'm just going to split this line to this point because I don't need that extra line I'm just going to keep this there we go perfect looks better I'm going to save it and I'm going to save it correctly this time because last time I just forgot to save it Fail size save as save as I'm going to make a new folder let's say I'm going to make it plain two three Save it plane, propagate directory, click OK. There we go. We have the plane saved. Similarly, I'm going to do the same thing right here as well. Projections. 
different sections, right? I mean, you, you just need to make different sections, one after the other. The concept is the same. It's not not at all hard. I'm just going to project this point, make it a construction element. Click OK. Escape, and then I just unselect so that my the one that I'm going to make right now doesn't aren't uh, construction elements at all. I will find this is the point right here. Okay, this is way too much of points. I just need three points. One, two, good enough, three. Or if not, then I won't. I don't want that big of spline as well. There we go. Good enough. Oh, I see. Okay. I can improve on this one. Really curve two. I'm just going to improve on it. I'm just going to extend it a bit. Good enough. Uh huh. So now I can see that. Okay. So this is the issue sometimes that happens. We need to avoid it. Make sure intersect the plane always before you do the plane before you start it. Because now I'm able to see that I'm having some issues. I'm going to improve on it. I'm going to delete this constraint and I'm going to project that particular point. Okay, and also because my projection needs to be some up here, now it's better. I need to make this again right here projection of that point construction element click ok good enough escape it's going to coincide this point with this point coincide this with this point ok it's not showing me alright wait a sec Looks good. I'm just going to adjust this even better. There we go, exit out. I don't need this. Define a work object, and I don't need this line. So I'm just going to get rid of the extra part just till this point. Good enough. There we go. This is what we are, we are expecting. And the same thing, we are going to do it here as well. We already have the plane, I'm going to intersect. You can click on the bag to multi select it. Upper line, top line. Click OK. Same thing goes here as well. Intersect this plane with both the profiles up and down. Top and bottom. Close, click OK. And the same thing we are going to do again and again. Plane, projection point, this point, OK. And this one, construction, OK.
like right here somewhere here so right here exit out projection again plane projection point click ok same thing once again for everything project the point make it a construction element click ok press escape projection point uh, construction uh, element turned off then go to the normal view use the spline just draw the area there you go looks better exit out of the sketch perfect now we have the guiding curves and the profiles as well so now we can just use multi section and what I'm going to do is it's expecting me to select the sections one two three four guiding curves are these two okay showing me an error just to make sure you might have made some mistakes but what could it be I mean it's kind of hard to understand so let me see the error once again sections 1 2 3 and 4 let's click preview yeah it looks okay guide curve if I add this to be the guide curve this is fine as well what about this one use this as a guiding curve ah. spine after that okay so this is the problem for some reason very weird I don't see a problem in here maybe within the sketch could be possible wait a second it is a construction element oh maybe it's not touching it because I cut the line as far as I remember just to make sure yeah, it's not touching it go inside maybe now that's weird it wasn't touching it for some reason that's weird you can try now. This section, this section, this section, this section. These two right curves. There we go. Perfect. And it's working. Well, sometimes I just have errors. So that's pretty much it for this video, I would say. And I will just make the entire plane once again till where we left and then we will get back to those continuation videos once again so thanks for watching and do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you and have a great day bye